All right. We're going live. We're playing around with some stuff. We'll see how this works. We're going to be filming and we're going to be around with the 65 Fort Fury. We're working on brakes. We'll see if anybody pops in here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anybody else who wants to jump in, please jump in. Otherwise, we're going to pull the tools out and we're going to start going at it. So we're going to be working with Ian and Judah here. We've already set up this thing to where we've got tires off of it. And we've already got, hey, Dean, how's it going? Well, in this case, it's actually a Plymouth, Dean. Uh, we're working on a 65 uh, Fury. So uh, basically, we've got the tires off underneath the car. We've got jack stands out. We get the jack still under it, so it's on the jack stands, but the jack's still uh, holding it up a little bit. And we're going to take and see what the actual insides of this looks like here in real time. Plus, we'll be recording, doing different stuff like that. We got this other one here recording. The boys are here. They're going to learn a little bit about uh, how to get some of this stuff up. So here we go. I see we got two people. I wonder who else is on here. Okay. So uh, Ian and Judah. Let's, see. Let's grab a uh, slotted screwdriver. Let's bring this hammer over here. Flathead screwdriver. You're gonna want to clean off around here because we don't want to mess up these caps. The newer caps don't seem to hold up like they used to. So you, this one actually, you can actually pry this one off. Huh? That's cool. A lot of times you'll uh, bump it with a uh, screwdriver or a hammer. I still don't like that. Go get me some of the uh, brake parts cleaner out of the back of the car real quick. We're going to spray this off before I finish getting it off. Nope, right here. Uh -oh. I'm going to try to blast some of this debris off so that we've got less problems. Yeah, what ended up happening is we uh, bought an inch transmission, ended up with a car. So now my dad wants the car. And so PB Blaster, yeah. Grab me some of the uh, blue rags, please, boys. Right. Yeah. And of course, we're probably going to get demonetized because of the Amazon, Amazon truck that's about to go by blasting his music. All right. Actually, Grace looks pretty good on here. Oh, let's see up here. Actually got some decent grease in there. Where's my cell phone? Over here. Well, it was somewhere. Well, first observation is that we've got good grease in here, so that's a good thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that they've maybe have already done the brakes on this thing, considering the shape of the engine and the transmission. We'll see. Yep, exactly. The uh, 
he was blasting that musical when he first came by and it was like what the heck I mean, it was louder than what it was this time. I think he actually turned it down when he saw the cameras out. All right. Here's what you're looking at, boys. You've got a cotter pin that goes through here. You've got a retainer that's right there. Then you've got a nut that goes on the outside of it. After the nut, you've got a washer that's got a keyway in it. And then you've got a actual bearing in there. So, come in here. We're going to have to go buy some more of these. Uh, pin, whatever they're called. Cotter pins because we don't want to reuse them under normal circumstances. Yeah, this one's been reused before. You can see where it's busted off. Uh, looks like, see, there's a retainer. Now, let's see if I can find. Then here, go get the backpack real quick. All uh, right, got it. Oh, you did? Oh, never mind. I got this right here. See how we pull this out, boys? I'm showing you on this one. Y'all are going to have to do this. Oh, there's a cousin, Mike. How you doing, Mike? Yep. The land was class and custom. Classic customs. Custom classics. Custom classics. Oh, I'm getting bad on my names today. Can y'all hear me all right? It's a possibility. All right. You see how I took that off? You can actually take it go like this. And it'll move this thing out. You see what I meant? By there's a keyway right here. Yeah. That positively located. If you look on the spindle again, mm -hmm. see what a keyway is? Mm -hmm. This one it goes on there. But why? Bearings are packed pretty good. So let's see where we go from there. Put this down here. Lay it out a little bit better. There's that. 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 Keep it nice and pretty there. Let's stick on this again. All right. No come out. Wow. No screen. I got my brother. All right. Seal looks good. The drum looks pretty good. These were redone. There was a dead spider in there, of course. I'm going to lay this down flat. And now we got a go kart going on over next door. Okay. Um, hardware is good. Huh. Yeah, even the uh, rubbers on that thing actually look pretty good. Ah, uh, WD-40 fumes. White apparition. Yeah, they got to learn. Yeah, I've actually got the 65 Fairlane at the house. Uh, I need to go through and put the adapter for the manual steering on it. And I've got the uh, new fuel tank for it, but we'll see. 
Hey, Mopar Nut 62. Yeah, B body drums are easy. Um, believe it or not, I've got a uh, two separate cars that I got to do B body drums on at the house right now. Rich, three GT 350R. How you doing today? All right, we're gonna toss this up here and do our little bit of filming here. So we got this apart now. Dust cap, cotter pin, retainer, nut, washer with keyway, bearing. The bearing is packed. It's in good shape. It has good grease in it. And these have been turned, it looks like. They're in really good shape. Seal's in good shape. So this is actually going to be a put it back together. And maybe I may not even change that. Uh, rubber hose there now that it looks like they've already done it here recently i checked in here there's no leakage and it looks like the seals are still good all the hardware is good so this one gets a thumbs up once you get all the dead bugs away from it so we'll let the boys do the other side here in a second oh john wilburn how you doing Yeah, let's see. I vacuumed 40 pounds of mouse droppings out of the 68 bird today. Yeah. This thing actually had spiders inside the uh, drum here. Yeah, it's nice to have the uh, disc brakes on the front. In this case, we probably won't, though. So, yeah, John, this, I don't know if you got to see the video. Uh, we picked up a uh, Poly 318 and a 727 from Halfway House Garage. And as luck would have it, he said, there's a caveat for the cheap uh, price. You have to take the car with you. So, one of the things we're going to be doing is once we get it back, together we're not sure if the uh, camshaft's been uh, run in yet or broke in yet so we'll do a break in on the camshaft make sure the brakes work and then uh, we're going to try a few things with the uh, engine on this sucker driving it around changing out different carburetors see what different uh, gear ratios it likes and stuff like that play around with the draggy a little bit and then it'll be handed over to my dad So I'm actually going to put this sucker back together. Even the brake shoes will look brand new. So I don't know what car we did, but when we took it apart, it did not look good in there. Now, Yeah, the Fury is a pretty cool little car. I, I kind of liked it. Once we looked at those, uh, once you got those uh, 275, 60, 15s on the back or whatever, it looks pretty mean with those uh, meats on there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You want to grab the uh, laptop real quick and take it over there, Joel? Yeah. Okay, don't break anything. So basically, yeah. This time, that's good. Amazingly, um, even though it's got some rust in the floor pans, it really is limited to just a little bit right here in the uh, pasture side floorboard on the front, and then a tiny bit in the uh, driver's side passenger. In the back one uh, floorboard, there's a small spot there, but it's really, other than that, there's not any real rust in this car on that part. Now, there are some places on the roof, I'm pretty sure it had a uh, vinyl top at one time, but it is. All right.
Now I am going to go back through and change out this cotter pin once I've actually got some cotter pins. Yeah. But for the moment, we're good. And I'm happy about the fact that the dust cover actually is original and works. There we go, back on. So, you boys think you can take care of the other side? The possibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move that, uh, grab that box and we'll move it over there to the other side. You know, you're going to need this. You're going to need this, this, and this. No, it's that box over there. Yeah. Okay, Ian. All right. I'm going to move over there. Uh, got our 17-inch uh, Crown Vic rims. Ooh, 57 Club Victoria, 23,000 original. Oh, let's see if I can catch up with this. All right. Hey, Jason, how's it going? I see you j jumped in here. 23K miles. Man, that is low mileage there. Yeah, I'm going to have to jack it up just a little bit more. But, uh, what you missed out on. Hi, Justin. The new house, uh, we got texture done today in the master bedroom, bathroom, and the front bedroom in the second uh, story. Also, uh, we got the area behind the what do you call it the refrigerator uh textured up and everything now we got a few things in there i'll i can run you back in there in a second and show y'all that's gonna have to wait till we can jack it back up but we'll move around over here to where ian is or let's see a 312 huh let's walk in here real quick and i'll show you what we've been up to that's our internet connection. You got it? All right. Ooh. Got the lights on. So texture so maybe tomorrow or monday we can start putting primer and paint here got the nice texture on the walls in here so this is all done now it's just prime and paint those will be done Robin's Egg Blue and Colonial White. That's a neat little color combination. Now coming upstairs. And this room here. Where the boys are going to be staying. We got there. And then... Stairway, that portion of it's all done, but I'm still working on, let's see, where the plywood is there. I need to finish plywood and the beam up here. So 
that I can put the drywall on it. And then we'll get that. Got the pony wall in up here. So it's looking good. But Arrowhead Garage, welcome. Looks like we got five people in here. That's cool. I just figured it'd be fun as we were finding out about this car, what it looked like to toss it up on a live as well as doing our normal video stuff. Kick in over here. See how I did it over on the other side? Okay, so Judah, throw me the paper towels, please. Literally. Okay, here's this. All right, just like the other side, we got plenty of grease in it, so it looks good. Uh, Justin, uh, probably may, I've still got to put in some flooring and everything and I'm supposed to go back to work this next week. All right. So let's see. Looks like he did the same thing on both sides. He reused the cotter pins as well, but yep. One end has already been busted off and then the other one's still long. So we're going to have to go source a bunch of uh, cotter pins. Okay. Here it goes by. And you can hear the go-kart going. Okay. This is next. Okay, Ian. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Use that to take that off. Okay. You want it to go that way. Yeah. Now the backs are going to be a little bit different. Uh, Judah, can you hand me a 7 16th out of that uh, wrench out of that uh, bag over there? How's it going, Tim? Good to see you on here. Okay. How I'm bumping it like that. See how it kicked out a little bit? Yeah. Makes it easier to grab it, pull it out, and grab it, pull it out. That's something I usually don't get used to. Got that screwdriver? You want one? Yeah. Let me use that real quick.
All right, go ahead and pull it out a little bit. Grab it on both sides, pull it out just a little bit. I'll push it back in. Pull your bearings off, set them over there. That looks good. I can't. All right, now pull them all the way off. Joint it, yeah. Pretend it's money. Pretend it's money. All right. Oh, look at that scorpion. But where? Oh. There. Yep, the dead scorpion. Okay, this one. You see that little ru that rust patch on there? Doesn't seem to be making perfect contact there, so there may be a uh, low spot there. But the rest of the drum looks really good. I mean, it was turned. I don't know if it's even turned. It almost looks like it's brand new. So. Other than uh, dead scorpions and stuff like that in there. It has good hardware. All the hardware looks, well, no, I'm going to take that back. We're going to have to go grab uh, the tools. This lower spring is not quite in place where it's supposed to be. Jerry, okay. you should come grab the tools. Not really. Um, break the tools. i got to go find those. You can keep talking, Judith. Are you Okay. Sense. Go ahead. No, Jerry, I'm not going to go get the tools. I mean, one of us to go do it, and then you had to go do it. No part of the movie science going on. Watch out for the bees. What bees? Oh, these ones. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Here she is. I'll find a funny karate. So, we do have some of the proper tools. Actually, give me a pair of pliers, too, Judah. All right. They're in the back backpack. Because that is not right. Uh, pass me the laptop for pliers. No, uh, right. it's going to be the channel locks. All right. What I'm looking at is right here, this dog leg here is actually supposed to be down and in for this. Instead, the just the hook on the end is caught. So I've got to put that back in and we'll see how it goes from there. The ones in your right hand. My right hand. Right hand. I don't know, probably the one that's right. No, really? I thought it wasn't. Yeah, that's not enough. What did you do with it? Alright, mm. now we're good. You won't put it. Alright, that's proper. So it's a good thing we went through it. Let's see. Even on this one, it looks like the they also changed the rubber hose. We've got a second or a third set of rubber hoses. Let's see what it says. Up here on the chat. Uh, Rich retracted the message. Hey, yeah, I didn't tell him it was so greasy. Oh. Uh, I like the little old school stuff. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to put this one back on. So... Hold this. Yeah. Hold, hold Part of what we're doing here as well is he's got to learn because he's going to be doing it on his 67 coronet here probably this next week or in a couple weeks. He's supposed to start uh, driver's ed on the 8th. Oh, yeah, Unfortunately, he'll, he'll not have his full-blown license for no-name nationals, but he will have his permit and that will allow him to yep all right that will allow him to drive to uh, um lambert's that is bueno nope nope nut 
No, no hold on. Just... Wash her first. No. Smack. Yeah. Nut. Go down there. Oh, here, pop it back off again. Rich said, "Put some uh, some more uh, grease on it." So yeah. on the spindle. Um, look in the back of the truck, or I will. Yeah, go look at the truck. We've got some uh, grease grease on it. Grease in it. In the back, back. or inside? It should be a white tub, white about tub. like this. All right. We take the bearing off too, or yeah, pull the whole thing back off. Yeah. Spin it a little bit. There you go. We got some disc brake high temp grease. Where's the paper towels? On Judah. Judah, paper towels. Paper towels. He's on his way. Jay, you have them in your hand. I got towels, but not the tub. I know, I said I found the tub, but you didn't listen. I can hear. He didn't hear, but I just need So, see, I am more useful. I'm the nut behind the steering wheel, huh? Castellated nut, a return to Camelot. But isn't that a silly place, Camelot? All right, now put it back on. Can't see. Watch your fingers, don't smash them. Or right. lose them. All right, now put your bearing in. The bearings are already packed. You can see that they're packed good, so we're not even going to use the packer. I've got a packer inside the uh, car. Thankfully, it's a grease packer, not a fudge packer. Oh, I thought it was a vehicle packer. Almost. I think you're supposed to get that on there. I know. I know. That's crazy. Right? Well, we got Ian putting this back together. This side was exactly the same as the other side. It had actually been redone and gone through. So we're going to be working on that. I have taken the... Oh, okay, from New Zealand, say, uh-huh. New Zealand? Land of Chiwi? Okay, hold up. No. Watch. As you spin it, it's tight, then you got to back it off. Now try to put that on there, and you want, want it, you want it to go on there in such a way that you've got room for... Like that. Now hand me the nope. Hand me the uh, if you look, got it like that, right? Okay, where's the hold on, nope. Careful. Where's the pliers? Are right here? That's what the 
there we go. All right, we are going to come back through and put a new uh, powder pin on there. Oh, it's a little bad. That break sounds like it's going to explode. All right. Mm -hmm. This right here. That looks good. There we go. Let's clean up the outside real quick. Hammer time. Back on too. So, so we'll see. Now, this car here is a car. was originally <laughs> a gold with a black top, and that's what my dad wants to go back to. I actually was looking through it. That's actually the sharpest uh, color combo that I've seen on these cars right here. All right, let's pick up the tools. You're gonna be a paper towel. Oh, look, I'm just And we will go back. Oh, we're gonna take and jack the car up a little bit, and we'll put the tires back on. Do you need me to do it now or later? I had to explain to the boys earlier that the driver's side on a Mopar is reverse thread, front and rear. Oh, this movie science. So, let's move the tools. Buckets. The bucket won't give me the bucket. I want the mouse to. Do a flip. Okay. I will not stop saying do a flip. All right, we're back over here. Sorry for the rearrange. This is the knock on effect. So, what's the difference between the 63 Oz Valiant and the US version of the Valiant, Dean? Other than uh, left hand drive or right hand drive. All right, let's stack this up just a little bit. That, car, that one ready to go on? This wheel confused me. Nope. Very little, just the back half. Okay. Got the uh, 
lug wrench back over there. Yeah, I got you. That is it. All right, go ahead and push that around and put it back on. Let's see, three quarter. Almost the same front as the American 64 Barracuda. Okay. All I know is, uh, what's his name? Uh, Scott from Scott Speed Shop. Or, I'm sorry. Scott from Heaven's Mopars has been messing with Valiants and uh, Lancers lately. Remember, they're backwards. No, they're, they're not. Backwards. That's what I said. They, they're backwards. How about this side or this side? The conical one goes in. The one with the rounded side goes in. The flat side goes out. Okay. The Lord is trying to know. I figured you already knew that. No, I don't even know what conical is. Well, now you know. Huh? All right. Oh. You got it on? They're backwards. 20, 225 slant six from 62 to 70 overseas exports to South Africa base model. Okay, from 70 to 76. <laughs> you got to figure it out on how they put them on. I think so. Just try and come in. Yeah. With it being reverse thread, it's fine. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to work my hands real quick. Go ahead. All right. One of us. Or both of us. C. Okay. Wait. Are you doing good? Possibly. Okay. This thing's fighting me again. Got six people watching. That's always Blaino. Mm-hmm. You really can't see me even though I'm like right here. Yeah. Oh. No. Hmm. I think the Rancho should get finished before the Cornet. I don't care. Nah, that's debatable. I want my car finished. Too bad. The Rancho is closer. <laughs> yes, I know it's close to being finished, but still, I kind of still want to drive my car because I'm going to be able to drive soon. A few months. Yeah, I know, but still, I... The oh, idea of a lazy automatic car. <laughs> oh, quite. Why? Hmm? Hey, you better not get distracted. I am. Hmm. Are you being a distraction? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, it's true. Well, why are you letting me distract you? Just breathing so I can throw a lot of him later. <laughs> Breathe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The camera or the cell phone over there, did I? Mm, I don't know. It's either. somewhere. All I know is I don't have it. Yeah. It's up on the uh, house. Yeah. So you get. All right. You didn't steal it for once. That's your internet. Mm. Oh, okay. 
Okay. No, this is this. You good? You good? Yep. You good? Then we we'll broke your laptop. Figure out how to spin them on it. One of these. Hmm. I think it just fell off. And I did it the wrong way. What happened? I went the wrong way. They just don't go the wrong like way. Like I said, reverse thread. I'll come back. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah. Two forty five first year and one barrel, two barrel, or four barrel with one sixty five to two hundred and ten horsepower. Then a small new small two fifteen and a big bore three point nine one inch two sixty five and two barrel or triple forty five DCOE Weber six pack. Oh wow. English. So the forty five millimeter uh, DCOEs. I think I've got I've got two uh forty DCOE sitting in Guatemala that I picked up. Okay, Jason, that that, that kind of makes sense. The fact that uh, you'd want them in a different direction. Rolling stock wheels. Technical term is anti-clockwise. <laughs> You gonna uh, take all day on that? I'm trying to keep hitting my. Take your time, Jay. Take your time. Then I know. Um. Okay. All you have to do is run them down like that. Then we'll set it. Uh, we'll pull the jack stands. Set it on the ground. Hopefully not on that hook. I need a vote. How many people want us to set the uh, car down on uh, Judah's foot? So, in other news, I just talked to uh, Robert from Halfway House Garage, Jason, and he said to come by and get that Holly carburetor from off of that uh, pickup truck uh, 318 so that we can test it. Are you good? You just run them in already? I can test it. Yeah. All right. Reach underneath there, pull the uh, again, pull the uh, the jack stand out. Got the jack stand out, possibly. Yes, so that's too close to my foot. <laughs> oh, no, I think a finger came off. I miss this foot. I think you, I think I'm missing a finger. <laughs> okay, now you can go back through and tighten up or hand me the lug wrench and I'll tighten it up. Yeah, you're growing old. You're to need to with that. Who's who are you talking to? Oh, my bad. And I forgot that he's he's a little hard of hearing nowadays. You hear this kid taking and messing with me? <laughs> maybe maybe I need to rethink this driver's ed stuff. Considering I had to pay for it. You remember today? <laughs> All right, grab that uh that jack and take it back on the driver's on uh, the passenger side, but only uh, a certain. My shoulder just popped. Okay, it doesn't need to go. I'll show you where to put it. But you got to do the back tires differently, boys. The tires and rims on the back on the 65 are exactly the same as what I normally see on the 65 Fairlane where you actually have to back jack the body up 
the spring purchase or the spring connectors and let the axle sag so that you can swing the tire and rim out. That must be awfully tiring. Are we still going with that joke? What? What joke? What? what? You don't want me to continue it. Oh my. Well, at least I don't want to. Don't if want you want to, to stay alive a little bit. I don't bit want long. to end up on the wrong side of um, the vehicle or the on the way home. Yeah, true. He's a doctor, not a nuclear engineer, huh? Bombs? Where? <laughs> All right, for the moment, it just we're pretty close on this. All right, let's grab the laptop. Why? And I think the bottom side. It's right here, and we're gonna go over here. And told me to push it in. You told me to push it in, so I did. All right. You told me to push in the jack in. Oh, did I? So we still are. We're still doing regular recording, too, as we do this. This one. Come out. So, y'all boys ready? Yeah. Come here. You see right here? Here's where your spring mm -hmm. or your spring hooks up. You want to put the jack right there on that frame right there. And watch your move your ugly body. It's not very nice. Okay, nice? these two are sitting here jacking around a little bit. Uh -huh. But on these cars, you need to take them, jack them up about right here because you gotta let the axle sag a little bit so you can get this out of here. Okay, before we jack it up, we need to loosen up the nuts on this thing. So, we'll get back to you in a second. All right, it's loose. There it goes. They're all loose. I have a California parking frog. Okay, Just slide it underneath there. No, the body lines on this car are really nice, and I like the, I mean, even the roof line. Now, where we did find uh, some additional rust on this one is right here and right here. There's a little bit on the lower window seal, but it's basically the same spot on both sides as where we've got a little bit of rust. But otherwise, the roof is pretty good. I mean, you still got a little small stuff around the, the rail or whatever. Muscles. But it's, it's doable. Whoa. You're watching. Muscles. You're going to have to let it down again. Dang it. And what did you do? Why did you start? You started it way too early. Okay. Okay. Now look underneath there where I put it. See. Ian. Y'all need to see that stuff so that y'all know. All right. Let's see. I got to do it. Do it. I need the muscles. <laughs> nice wheel, a little Star Trek humor. Where? Ah, uh, now I got you with the doctor and nuclear engineer. Movie science. Star <laughs> Trek, so I did something. I 
something's going up. Okay. We're up off the ground. But you see, it drops the axle down enough so you can pull it out. Yeah. So let me grab the camera and we'll go back at it and review it. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we jacked it up. Suspension sags. And it drops the wheel down out from the wheel well. Now, this is interesting. These bolts right there. Right here, here, and here. I'm not sure what those are for. Maybe a trim piece. But we'll pull this off. So, three quarters. Ian, take it off. All right. I'm up. You know what I think, Poppy? I think those are there because yep. the car kind of melted. Because we're we are technically three oh, miles from the sun. Oh. And What's that? I think that's just melted car because we're only three miles from the sun. Uh, we're a lot longer than that. But it's Texas. Take your time. Yeah, I'll go ahead. All right. At least it'll be faster than yours. It's my fault. Someone must be distracted. Here's something. Yourself. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if it could, possibility could have uh, fender start skirts. Now, here's something that I thought was kind of neat. See, that's the gold that it was original. But look, there's actually a stamping number right here Let's see if y'all can see that now the one piece that is really 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 rusty is that trunk lid because of the trim piece that goes on the sport furies right there makes it a little bit harder because it collects enough junk i've got a contour enough on the other end of the trunk lid that's original contour that i can make a patch that will come all the way across but it's going to take some doing we'll see how it goes you grew up with them cars huh steam presses with huge mandrels Well, dang, we're almost an hour here. Time flies. Once we get this brake off and checked out and everything, we'll probably sign out, get the other one knocked out real quick, unless y'all want to stick around and hang out. Well, well yeah. that, we're going to need a hammer. It's um, here. Hammer time. Poppy. If yeah. I remember one time in one stream, Somebody, I can't remember who said that this, that this was better than watching any of the late. Sorry for your ears. After you showed. My ears are already gone. There we go. That looks better than the others. Okay. I don't think it's running. Leakage on it. You guys, jokes. All well, brand new seals. This one, too. So apparently, they redid the brakes. But there's no pedal up front, so I imagine the problem is going to be that uh, master cylinder. Bi directional impact device. Yep. The Kathunker. All right. All we need is a. Let's put, pick up the phone again and record. Now. I like this part here. It actually says right here, made in the USA. And it's got the part number on it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty nice. Better than China. Okay. Drums are looking good on this one. Everything in the back looks good. You can't even see any type of leakage on here. So we're going to leave this the way it is and stop about it. Now, 
I thought this is neat. This is a little bit different than what you see on the Fords. On the Ford, you have springs here and here. But this one actually has a short end here. And you got this hooked in. It kicks down. That's pretty interesting. But you can see everything looks good. We'll throw it back together. Go to the other side just to confirm. And... If you look back in there, that hose don't look too bad either. So, it'll just be a matter of checking that other brakes over there. It ain't broke. Don't fix it. Mm -hmm. Another California part. I don't know, because, like so I fast. said, it's... Let me see if I can pull it over here. It's going to be upside down for y'all. But, I don't know if you can see it. It says, Made in the USA. Self-energizing Breakinator. <laughs> I like that. In other words, this is set. I cast Thunderstar. All right. Ian, go ahead and put this one in. Okay. Why do I have to do my other two? You're going to get the one on the other side, Judith. Yeah, we'll make it extra taller for you so it'll be hard for you to put it on. Or take it off. Put yeah. It on, however. Okay, yeah, that's I think you have to turn it around. Bro, oh, that would help, wouldn't it? Now, this car here looks really good with those bigger tires on them. I mean, like, I think to do it. <laughs> Although, I'm not going to let my dad keep my drag radials. America, yeah, that's what Judah was saying, too. I kind of like to kind of like doing these teardowns like this and doing them all live, even though I still have to shoot stuff for them. So what are we shooting? Um, a video uh, yes. documenting what we're doing. The pilot for our next season. <laughs> what season, Ian? I know. Probably should definitely do something like that. Very interesting. The MC Hammer quote is priceless, huh? Oh yeah, okay. where's that last one? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Nerd. If it was a snake, it'd bit you. Probably would have. Oh. All right. If it bit you, I would have kept all your stuff. <laughs> Who says it's poisonous? The snake. The snake can't talk. I know. You just die and you'll find out. Yeah, that's going to be fun. At least I'll be in a better place those things will be mean nothing to me remember crisscross pattern too when you uh, go to the next one i yes sir you break it judah didn't do that Ooh. Me, <laughs> yes that's yeah sounds like something judah would accidentally do i did that yeah. emphasis on accidentally you know, i don't want to make any people watching mad and you accidentally trip on air I don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> That's a good trope quote. He accidentally tripped on air, huh? Must be some take care. Jason, I have no responsibility for your lack of car space. <laughs> That's what happens when you live in the land of cheese. Wait, what if he breathes into my direction? And that keeps going. Like, okay. We want to get this done sometime this year. Well, good right. thing it's the beginning of the year. Man, it's been five years. No, it's been a nice Either way, I'm, pretty, I'm done. Nah, really? I thought you were. All right, done. Let's, you're not totally done. Oh, yeah. No. Close enough. Not close enough. Now you see what I'm talking about on how far down that thing drops. And with the with the bigger tire, you can see the difference. All right. There you see how much farther down and inside that wheel well that tire sits. 
thankfully we've got plenty of room inside there and we're good to go what we yeah 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 you already had how many cars before i got involved we found out there's about two and a half fingers worth of space in between the lip on the passenger side here and the sidewall of the tire so there's plenty of room there and there's probably a good inch of space in between the inboard side and the leaf spring now the other side there's a difference of about a finger and a half and the uh, pinch well lip on that side but works pretty good it's used to use metric this time all right so this this uh, jack's got to go to the other side that's going to be fun all right let's just keep it going until we get finished yeah This is a nice. I'm going to pull it around the other way. Adios. I want to be careful. You want to break your car. English, please. All right. I'm going to beat you. You want to be careful. You don't want, you want it to sting you. So I should make a bad end. Blame it on you? No. No. If I had a super B right now, I'd Steve with the, to the rear while well, I'm reversing by accident. I'm trying to lose my driving. I know those could have been better. You started well, but you didn't stick the landing. That's actually good. That was actually good. Fair enough. Um, let me see. Oh, I see. I see. Mm. Ah, I'm almost wasn't careful. He said third. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, got that um, <laughs> metric of the lug wrench. Um, right over here. Here you should get it. I got it. Congratulations. I'm so proud. I get an award. Oh here, boy. Let's see that real quick. Let's see if I can get a closer view in. Let's see here. Oh, there's a plan in the way. A plant. It's a tree. Same difference. It's plant a plant. Versus, huh? No, we're not going to. No reference referencing that. stuff that I could get copyrighted with. It's not going to get copyrighted. Yet. I don't care. <laughs> Anyways. See this will work. It's a wop or cement tree is what's behind me. That's a worm. Oh, you monkey. Why'd you let go? I could have broken this. I could have broken the very thin screen. It'd be no, there's a leaf on here. For a second, I thought that was a praying mantis. No. But that was a leaf. That'd be pretty cool, though. Just be like, praying mantis jump scare. Okay. Mm. Now. Yeah. Hold on to the branch. Mm. It's going upwards. Okay. I oh, know. Maybe I can find a better angle for this here. I'm gonna go find a better angle. I'm gonna go. Don't go break your angles. Okay. I'm gonna go traveling around the world real quick. Wait a minute. Let me go over here. This. All right. You can get in there. All right. Just making sure you can get by. All right. This should be a good place to set up shop. Oh, good thing I didn't hear it then. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Good. Let's keep it that way. Am I doing it the right way? I think I am. If you're going right, then yes. Which way? Which way is right? Probably the right way. Um, English, please. If you don't know English, Spanish would work. If you don't know Spanish, I do. I, Never mind. You see me Espanoli. Never mind, Ian. To hand me the camera. Oh, yeah, there's still some white bear. All right. I got a $3,000 for jumping on the border. Let's not make those kinds of jokes here. What joke? 
Oh. Say anything. Okay, my bad. All right. So we chicken through and. All right, we went through. Knock the lid off. And it looks like we got an empty reservoir. So it's going to take some brake bleeding, bleeding to take and get this to work. Just the lid. Screw down. Let's see how it goes. You have... Oh, we got, we're got back to six people again. Well... Definitely out of brake fluid, so we'll see what happens. I wonder how that happened. Movie science. I'm just terrified. There's just a bee behind me buzzing around. I shouldn't be terrified, but I should, because I'm moving the tree. Keep turning. I believe it is not. I know, Judith. If that happens, you ends up stinging you. Just reenact what happened at Idaho. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, just like have your hands all up again and say, guys, look, now you get to see what happened to my hand when it, and like what POV. happened in the animal. Just like POV, yeah. just like yeah. hand inflammation. You should like show them where it stung you. Like that yellow jacket stung it you. It doesn't have the mark anymore. Okay. You should yeah. still show them where. I never mind. I'm going to do it. It was for, it was for, for freedom and democracy. No, no but like... Yeah, where did it sing you? On the hand. Where else would it sing me? Yeah. It probably did. It did. That's where I got sent by one bee. When was you should let me get out. Why am I too distracting? No. Just don't let me distract you. <laughs> Bro, I could just throw don't this at you, I would, but I am not. Yeah, because you'd accidentally hit I think they're gonna get hit the stream. You'd hit it. <laughs> you always round up. And I had to use my money. Buy another one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends. I think I provoked. It. I would end up provoking you, and probably would say I'd have to. No, it's on my. Oh back. yeah, they're trying to make it Ow! My nose. My back hurts. <laughs> As you can see. You can get some air out there a minute ago. So, oh, there's another little bubble. It's going bloop, bloop, bloop. And we'll see what we're doing. I am. I am one with the tree. I am one with the tree. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord. I speak for the Jews. And I'm not finishing that. Because that would be me. See, I tried to finish the rhyme. Good. Do you hear anybody else say anything? I need to. Who thinks me and my brother bickering is annoying? This is all day, every day, usually. 24 7 nights and weekends. This is the this is the only way we know how to entertain. Other than violence. No, well, you can't do that right now. Yeah, true. But and that this is our only our only way of entertaining bombs. Well not each other. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, you need that is something. What you find? Something. Another piece of trim that I've been looking for. For a thousand years. It was right in front of me. Yeah, but it was hidden underneath the floor. Where do I how do I get this out? Oh, that's a very good question. Though Bob actually serious, that's a good question. I wonder how. Don't worry, Judo. RIP worm that I squished. Probably deserved it. Shouldn't have gotten in the. In it had a family. <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah, that's true. It's for freedom and democracy. Okay. They just remind me that one movie. And who else on there? Are you watching the live? Yeah, I'm watching it. There's like four people. 
on. So, uh, yeah, now there's four. Yeah, got nine likes. Doing pretty good. One hamburger and a cheese. Now you're making me hungry. You're welcome. Okay, why don't you just try pulling the bottom a bit? I know, I think it should help you. Because, like, so if I pull the bottom, these. No. Wait, I don't know how many. We're going to have to do some digging. Movie science. I think I should move. That's probably a, a very good idea. Yes, sir. See? You even bought me a wrist. Wait a minute. Oh. I don't think our way out. Wait, let's see. Here. This is out here. No, I don't. Hold on, move out of the way. Oh, boy. That should help. Okay, now try to do it. All right, time to do you to job. Let's go. There we go. There. Judah. He's gonna. Oh, never mind. Here we go. I should probably do this with Two, three, make it three. Okay, now I'm gonna. Oh no, I may have to move this now. Blocking off the work area. I think I'll move it over a bit. Right here. Here we go. Stay there. I think she did the hammer. Move out of the way. Yep, everything looks good. And we're looking good on this one too. You just think you can move it closer, man. It's in here. Yeah, it's good, just like the other one. Everything's new on it. In fact, there's still paint on the uh, springs and everything from the new uh, kit. Boing. A little wobbling between. So that part's good. My next thing is. I'm going to take and open up this uh, bleeder and try to push some fluid out of it. I know I should have started on the other side, but we're here. Mm -hmm. At least get some fluid this far. Yeah. Let me just move this back now. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, yes, and the stuff, too. Hmm. We should go back shortly. Where's the wrench? Mm -hmm. Easy. Longest one first. Says, um, Ridge GT350R. Yeah, that's the other one, but... Oh, boy. See here. Let's see if I can move it in. See my move in. What? What happened? Huh? Wait a minute. Something happened. Okay, let me go back. What'd you do? Okay, here we go. It just for some reason logged like like closed like well it did close the tab but it just went out went back to the normal desktop or something I know. yeah i'm just gonna try to get some fluid back here for, just to see if i need to change out this hose and then uh probably off of yeah once we get uh get off of here we'll probably do it properly i just gotta get at it oh, I all right so judah get in through the other side Watch it, there may be some shaking. Okay. Let me just get in the comfortable position and I should be good. Okay, when I tell you to, I want you to push it all the way down. And just hold it all the way down. You got it all the way down? Yeah. Oh. Here we go, we got six people again. So, tighten it up, let up. Hmm, what happens if you diagonally swap the left from 
because I left them to the rear. All right, right. push it all the way down, Judah. Hmm. Right. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. That's because Mopar didn't make it all up. the drums. The, um, same. Push it down. Okay. Lift up. Might be too loud. Down. Up. Let's check the fluid. Because it is a small master cylinder. Oh, yeah, it's already going down. We're getting air out the other end here, too. All right, let's go to where the action is, fellas. I am short. Uh, no, you're not. All right, you are. Next. All right, he's coming back. What, how do you feel being inside of Fury? Down. There's no seat though. Is it pushed down? Yeah. You should probably push it down. Quickly. Okay. Let up. Uh, let's go back. Push down. Down here. Up. Up. A little far. Push down. Up. Push down. <laughs> Up, yeah, furious. Yep, probably because anyways he looks short. For some reason he's taller than me. And I'm the older brother too. I the it, it's a bit more embarrassing now. Yep, he looks so furious. He has to okay. push down the brake pedal so many times. From this time, Judah, I want you to push it down, go like that, and pump it three times. Do it five times. All right. And then, if you get to the fifth time, hold it down. Okay. All right? All right, back to the action. Well, this action. Pump it up. Oh. Hold on. Me misbehave? Nah, not me. This is rich. Just making sure. <laughs> Sucking on the nipple. You didn't hear anything, Judah. Neither did I. All right, let up, Judah. Pump it. Yep. All right, lift it up, pump it up again. Oh yeah, we got seven people now, let's go. All right, let it up, pump it. All right, let it up, pump it again. All right, shit. I gotta check the fluid again. All right, here we go back up. I can go up. Not you. You got to keep your foot on. I don't know if you have to keep your foot down or not. You have to keep my foot down. Let go. Thank you. Yeah, you don't want to hurt your foot. Well, that came up from there. Pump it again. I don't know. Am I being too loud? I maybe. I oh, don't know. Have to see. A better view in here. Ah, yes. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, movie science. Here. All right. This looks like a good thumbnail, too. Got a bunch of nastiness. Mm -hmm. Rust coming out of the system. Let's see it. Oh, All yeah, right. right there. Um, wait. Ooh, there were, came a bunch of air. Can you see it? Okay, or? press, uh, press, uh, pump it. Okay, let go. Do they, can't they not? So Can there's see now? that air coming up. There we go. Pump it again. 
Let up. Pump it again. Let up. So that was, here comes some air, but that was mainly fluid. Pump it again before it was all just air. Let up. And you still see air coming out. All right. Since we still got that. All right. Okay, Ian. Mm -hmm. There's the uh, brake fluid right there. Uh huh. We need to. Uh, pop Good old off. fashioned. That's what you use Ooh. to top it off. All right. Oh, so I have to be over here? No, you can oh. still come back over here. All right. Okay, pump it up, Judah. Let's see here, fix it. All right, come let up. Okay, pump it. Lisa's nose is Spanish. Uh, all right, let up. Any okay. Pump it up again. Mm. Oh, my hair's getting in the way. Okay. Let it up. Um. I'm going to do something a little different here. Hmm. All right, pump it up. Indirect connection says, I'm surprised that that fluid didn't come out like a geyser. Okay, let up. Pump it up. <laughs> yep. No, because we're not thinking it. Okay, pump it again. I still haven't gotten any fluid over here to this to this wheel, so I don't know if it's pumping it or not. It may just be that that's a bad master. Go see if it's uh, going down at all. All right, I'll go take a look. Let's see if I can do this. What? What'd you say? Did you say Willis? Is she Wait, let me... Let's see here. Have you gotten any harder, Judah? No. Just didn't look that lower. You guys can see it. Delicious soup right there. Mm, was it, like, up to the brim? Or... Well, now it's just down a little bit. Like, I'd say about, like, a centimeter or something. Like, millimeter, centimeter, something like that. I'd say about either half a centimeter or like that. I know it's like Pump it up, this Judah. much. Something like that, like this. Let it up. Pump it up. We got 10 people in here. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Welcome to the stream. Pump it again. If you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe. And all that fun stuff. Want to see more of this? Pump it up again. Also, let us know we should do more of these. Pump it up again. We're pumping it up out Pump here. Pump it up again. Tell me if it gets harder. Is it off the floor? Yes. Okay, that's what we needed to know. Okay, letting it out. You ready? Pump it again. Mm -hmm. Direct connection says I'd empty that master out and clean the rusty crap out of yeah out before it destroys the seals. What I was gonna pro I was gonna do is just run it, all the uh, fluid out of here. 
because that uh, brake master cylinder, I was probably going to have to be replaced, but I was going to push all the uh, fluid through it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm with so it's going to have new fluid all the way through it. But I mean, I guess I could empty it right now. I just don't know what I'd use to empty it with. Oh, yeah, 11 people. Let's go. Yes. You do? Let's see. So the rear, the seal on that uh, master. Yeah, like. You can. You seen? What the sus? What? Oh, oh yeah, I did that again. Touch. Yeah, it tends oh, to do go. that. Careful not to press anything. Basically, yeah. The brake fluid is right up there. Right there. Coming in on the inside of there. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. There you go, Ian. Takes the lot. No break it. I would never. I, I would never. All right, so I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what I'd have here at this house though that I could use. I mean, I guess I could suck it up with uh, rags, but with the back of uh, back seal already leaking, we're just going to need to go through and uh, go get a breakdown, go get a master cylinder for it. And at that point, if I'm doing a master cylinder, I really ought to go do a, a dual circuit. Exactly. I was try I was telling them when to do it. Yes. Right. Pump it up. You good? I'm below shaking. Okay, let up. Pump it up. Oh wow. All right, let up. Pump it up again. Yeah, I'm not getting anything back here still. I haven't gotten any uh, fluid. So I think we're going to call this here and see about getting a proportioning valve for a dual circuit brake system. And then we're going to take and go through and put a dual circuit master cylinder on this sucker and it's set up for the four bolt setup so there we go up to five we're back up to five so oh, yeah. anyways i think we're going to call it here guys thank you for coming along thank you for the advice and for the other fun stuff and we will see y'all soon just drive it Yes, Mr. Dean, you've always been a bad man. <laughs> All right, we'll catch y'all later. Mm -hmm.